Hi, I'm Matt Thomas. I'm an employee of Cummings Lumber Company. Today, I am going to be asked some questions about this company by two students. One, a college student, and one, a high school student. Hopefully, to give you a better insight of this company. How long have you been working for Cummings Lumber? As of right now, I'm working my 36th year. What do you like about your job? I like the variety of work that has to be done around here. I'm called on a, a, a lot to do a lot of different things. Um, I get to meet a lot of different people, a lot of truck drivers. So yeah, that's interesting. What are your responsibilities? My responsibilities consist of the lumber that is being sawed in the mill, I take care of it. Rather it be loading trucks being green before it's dried or kiln drying it, loading the kilns and unloading the kilns. What don't you like about your job? Actually, there isn't anything that I don't like about it. I like everything that I'm responsible for doing. What is a typical day's work like for you? A typical day's work varies. I have the same responsibilities every day, but they're in different order usually. I'm responsible, like I said, for taking care of all the lumber that's being produced. Um, I make sure that the guys in the dry shed have lumber. I keep them busy. I load incoming and outgoing trucks, and sometimes I get pulled away to do other various jobs. What is your type of business? It's a lumber industry. How long did it take for you to be qualified for the position you are in now? It didn't take very long because I'm an outgoing person and I like to learn different things. So I, when the opportunity arose, I jumped on and said I want to do it. Are there any advancement opportunities? There are. It's up to you, yourself, how self-motivated you are. If you're willing to learn and take the challenge to do different things, there's always an advancement here. Do people in your industry offer training? Absolutely. Anything that needs to be done around here, there's, if you are interested in running machines, equipment, there's people here more than happy to help you along. What tools do you use to help you do your job? Well, my biggest tool is my forklift. I'm a forklift operator. Um, another tool is I run a handheld computer, which I put data in that every day of what the lumber that is produced from the mill and what is being taken off sticks to be resaled. All the information from the handheld gets sent to the office so they know what they have on hand to sell. Are there any high school classes that could help a student looking into this career? Sure. All the classes that they offer would be helpful, rather it be math, English, anything. No matter what job you choose for a career, you're always going to use your what you've learned in high school. What are the drawbacks and rewards of your current job? Well, for me personally, I don't see any drawbacks. And the rewards are being able to ha have a job for as long as I have to be able to support my family. What made you decide that this was the right field for you? Well, I didn't know it going into it. I started young, fresh out of high school. And once I started here, I was able to do multiple jobs, which was great because that won't, so you won't get bored. Um, so I just kept advancing myself and to get to where I'm at today, driving a forklift, and I absolutely love it. What should I be doing right now to prepare myself for this career? 
Get your high school education. Absorb all you can in high school and just uh, fulfill your dreams. Go out and try different things. Do you ever allow students to job shadow with you? Not for the most part because it's kind of a dangerous job here, but we can offer videos or one-on-one -on -one talks as we're doing now. And we do have um, where tours, I'm sorry. We do have tours where people can do a walkthrough as groups. What would you have done differently to get where you are? I can't say as I would have done anything differently. I'm happy with what I'm doing right now. Do you have any advice for a student just starting on this career path? If this is something that you are interested in, just jump in with both feet, come to our office here in Troy, Pennsylvania, and you can fill out an application. You can talk to our HR director, Cassie Digart. She's a wonderful lady. She'll steer you in the right direction. Um, if you would like, you could actually give me a call or call the office and tell them you'd like to talk to me. Leave your name and number and I'll be more than happy to answer any question you have.